In order to start with the bracelet of the right arm, we'll go ahead and create some volumes, some extrusions. First, in this case, we'll have to convert all the pieces into different polygroups. Simply head to Polygroup and hit Auto Group. Auto Group is quite helpful when we have several pieces within a same soup tool. Let's start with this thick portion of the bracelet and we'll work using Zmodeler. What I want to do is, by pressing ALT, we'll draw all these faces you're watching um, along these first three rows and we'll do that all along this piece. Now head to the option Extrude and generate a little volume to this area. This way. Let's remove all these pieces and now let's work with this one over here. Like below, what we'll do is to take these two polygons and by pressing ALT, we'll convert them temporarily into another polygroup. Leave the space between two polygroups and repeat the action and carry on until we finish all the circumference of this object. Once we get this result, what we'll do is to extrude these pieces as well. At this height, more or less. Alright. What we'll do now is to go through a similar process on this area, on this plate of the hand. The idea here is to extrude an area like this one, something like this. This way, thanks to the topology we have um, for these polygons, we'll be able to generate that shape with no problem. What we want to generate is a shape like this one. And we can get it from this shape we already have. How are we doing it? Over here we could use the same method we've used. Over here, we could use the same method we had used for the upper pieces, which is simply to create a temporal polygroup, but since the piece is so big, it'll take us a bit more time. What we can use here are masks. Let's see how we can do it. First, hide this portion and leave only this.
Once that's done, what we'll do is to head to group by normals. We'll only work with this portion up here and start masking. In this case, using lasso. And simply by using a mask, we'll get the pieces we'll need. Create this polygroup by pressing Ctrl W. We can see how you're achieving the piece. For this specific case, we can notice it's a bit faster using Z Modeler. We need to make sure both sides are even. Obviously, taking into account it won't be exact, since the geometry itself is not even on both sides. So, we'll have to make the adjustments we think are needed. Check the progress. Maybe these borders should be a bit thicker. What we'll try to do now, after getting this polygroup defined, We'll adjust a bit the directions. We'll make the lines to be more straight. They are too curved. That can be done using move with no problem. Let's curve a bit these areas here on the corners so we vanish these ends. It is anyways a quick fix. After extruding, we can fix it some more. All right, that should do. And now let's extrude it. At this height, more or less. Well, as you can see, we've got some crooked lines, but that's not a problem. Little by little, we'll adjust these areas. Let's adjust a couple of things more, and we'd finish this video. For finishing, what I want to do is to generate a crease to all these areas. What I mean is that if we apply a quick smoothing, this would be the result. We would get two smoothed edges. And for these plates, that's not what we want. We want them to look more rigid. So, we'll apply a crease to all those extrusions we've made. Let's hide the rest of the geometry for a moment. What I mean is to leave only this piece and border all these with a crease. If we head to geometry and hit crease, 
we'll add one crease over here. What it's done is to border all the polygroup or the geometry we had visible. This panel is quite useful when we have two irregular geometries and we have to border all the, all the section. By doing that, we get a piece like this. Let's proceed the same way for this piece. Simply leave just one polygroup visible, in this case, this yellow one. Like so. And let's hit again crease. As you can tell, it's bordered this portion down here. And that helps a lot that the load to do could be a lot less. What's left? Simply, we have to adjust these ends, these corners, by using the modeler. Not this one. We want it to be more curved. This corner, for instance. And that way, we get a more rigid plate and relatively easier compared to if we had to sculpt. This Z modeler really helps a lot. It's got some imperfections, but we just would have to polish them. Let's proceed the same way on this polygroup up here. Although I think we've done it already, since this polygroup and the one below were exactly the same. I mean, this plate and this one belong to the same polygroup. Then the crease worked for both. For these pieces up here, we'll also be able to use crease, but we'll have to combine it with another option. Go back again to group by normals, and since this piece here is wide, and this one over here um, have kind of the same angle, so ZBrush has recognized them already as a single piece. Let's hide all the rest. Simply hide the pieces we don't need. I think like that is alright. And let's go and hit crease. Let's check how it would look. And we can see it's applied the cuts as we need it. The same we'll do down here. Since they belong to the same polygroup, simply hide what we don't need. All right, and hit crease. Let's see what's the result. And we can see we've got more perfect edges. The last piece we have left is this kind of a strap. And by using Z modeler, We'll transform all this piece or all this area into a single polygroup. We'll only leave here the borders. And simply apply a crease on the edges. And we get something like this. We will have to polish it since we want the central part to be wider, not to mention about these areas over here. But we've already got the initial volumes that we can work with. Alright, hope you liked the video. As you can see, this is another application CModeler has, and we've covered another panel, which is Greece. This is it for the time being. See you on the next one.